What is up guys, Major Magpie, and welcome to another Spin Tires mod video. The sun is coming up, and we're taking a look here at the Rock Triton. Now I'm pretty sure that this is not actually a legitimate vehicle. I say that, it's obviously a modified vehicle of something. It looks very much like either the Ural or the Kras to uh, in-game vehicles. Uh, but when you put Rock Triton into any search engine, what you'll get is a Mitsubishi L200 pickup. <laughs> and this doesn't look like an, any pickup that I've ever seen. So I'm guessing it is just a modified Ural or a modified Kras within the game. Obviously to do trails, uh, truck off-roading, but it looks sexy, nevertheless. Uh, let's go ahead and get it started then. We can start the engine. Listen to the little bird. It's got a nice in-cam view, albeit a bit blurry, but you know, we've got seats. We've got a couple of Kia sticks there, passenger seat. Looks good from the passenger view. <laughs> I was thinking in this episode, guys, we could, I mean, we are here, right up in the top corner. Uh, I was thinking we could head on to this track here and follow it round. Um, to, wait, head on over to the garage, do at least two of the uncloaking points. That's the idea, anyways. Uh, that would be cool. Get this one here so we can see what's in and around this area. We've obviously got our lumber mill. Uh, but we've also still got one custom vehicle to find. Uh, if you joined us in the first episode, I mean this is the third episode, if you joined us in the first episode you'll know that there's seven original, uh, seven vehicles in this map. I've replaced four of the original vehicles with four custom ones that I wanted to take a look at. Uh, this is the third. Up. We've still got to find one more. Let's uh, take this piece for a drive then. And instantly I can feel that it feels very light. Which means that's probably going to make light work of pretty much anything I've put in its way, except trees, I would imagine. It'll be a bit light. <laughs> well, it hasn't been too bad with them. Stuck. Stuck on a tree. Yep, defeated by a tree. <laughs> it just pops back like a bit of elastic. We're gonna have enough ground clearance to clear this. Right, so we are on the track then. Let's just follow this round. Hopefully this will take us all the way back to the garage via a cloaking point so we can see a bit more of the map, but we don't know yet. Yeah, this is going to take some stopping. I can feel it. It's it's light, but it's so light that it'll it will eventually just make its way across whatever obstacle you put in front of it. You know, whether it be a vertical building or <laughs> no, we're playing a vertical building. Uh, one thing we're going to have to be careful with this vehicle, this particular vehicle, then is going to be uh, toppling because if it gets some extreme angles, this thing will go over very easily because it feels that light. Some strange old noises as well. I'm not I'm not too keen on the sound effect. Sounds like it's auditioning for Star Wars or something. Ha <laughs> ha! It's definitely got a bit of grunt about it. It's a good looking mod, this. Textures are good. Good old suspension in there and that. Nice attention to detail. Uh, yes, in this episode I was hoping to find the fourth and final vehicle that I have put in this map. Anyways, uh, if we can do that, we'll showcase that one in the next episode. And to do two of the uncloaking points would be awesome. 
that would leave us with one to find, and then we could do that with our next vehicle that we find. That's the DV anyways. Just take a look at our map, where we are. We are here, completely bypassing that cloaking point, so I don't think we're going to get I'm going to get on this road here, follow back to the garage, see what installments and add-ons you can get for this particular vehicle. I uh, imagine they're going to be trials related. Uh, and then we'll probably head off and try and do a few of the cloaking points. Then on how we do it for time. Yeah, this is definitely going to take some stopping here. I'm not going to stop this thing yet. <laughs> I see, I mean, the only thing I'm a bit dubious on is the sounds. Sounds just, I don't know. Sounds like a droid. It's, uh, it's pretty quick as well. It likes to pollute in the area as well. The black smoke, Jesus. the garage? Oh, we can! Jackpot! Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Especially the start of the video. Never mind! Look at the amount of add-ons and installments we got for this. Just forget that I completely just drove into the river. That was obviously, you know, I designed it that way. That's the way I wanted to do it. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at these add-ons then. We've got a carriage. Very much standard. We've got a log cabin. Very much standard. Fuel system. Standard. Beacons. Did you put beacons on? Yeah, why not? Or oh, should we put the red lights on? Yeah, we'll put the red lights on. I like that better. Yeah, we've got a garage carriage. Carrying two garage points. We've got a tractor. A utility attachment. These are the ones I'm interested in now, though. These are the rock backup wheel. Uh, I'm guessing we've got to take the red lights off to put the wheel on. No? Okay. My mouse goes on the cabin. We've got a rock cabin protector. Put that on. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, we've got the rock utility. Hey, look at that. It even comes with a spoiler. Proper trials truck. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? We can put the backup wheel on now. Oh, that goes on the roof. Ah, right. So... You need the rock utility to put the rock back up wheel on, or wheels. That looks awesome. Uh, and then you've got your usual, you've got your garage carriage, uh, utility and cart. Uh, two sets of wheels, you've got your defaults, which is what you currently have on now, and then your highway wheels, which we are not going to do because well, we're going to be doing some off-roading, I think. Uh, yeah, so diff lock on. All wheels on and brake off. Let's go and see how this thing goes. Then. Oh, yes, a lot heavier straight away. And as you can see by the way it's leaning, it's pretty top heavy with those silly wheels on the roof. I don't know. Them wheels on the roof also look bigger than the ones that's on the actual vehicle. <laughs> so that I will. We've got four of them, so I mean, they are obviously wheels for a different occasion, you know. <laughs> right, let's have a look then. The map. We are up here at the garage. We need to go and do at least one of the clone points. I would like to try and do this one. Yeah, the furthest north. And then see where it takes after that. We'll have two remaining. So let's head on and try and do the northmost clone point. I've got a kind of an idea where it is. There is a track before where we went off in the last episode in the man. Uh, I suppose if we take that down there, it's got to lead to it, I would imagine. Oh, this is so top heavy at the moment. Still a lot of bouncing around. It's very vicious as well. It's 
got a lot of grunt about it, a lot of talk, a lot of I want to go somewhere, but uh, yeah, tires on the roof. That's a lot of serious weight to the top of it. I mean, look at it go, boom, 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 so much. This is the, I think this is the track we want. Huh? Yeah, this is the track I would like to go down. Let's go and have a look and see what's down here then. Imagine that cloaking point is down here. <laughs> Looks beautiful now, this thing, doesn't it? Look at that. <gasps> that was completely inevitable. Okay, right, the day 535, come to the rescue. Okay, guys, so we're going to rescue our Triton, which surprisingly for me is uh, it's a bit awkward to drive. kind of annoying because it looks quite impressive but it is super top heavy and it's like driving around with a block of flats on your roof and let's try and see what we can do with this sound the issue I've got with this is I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to get it back on its wheels because it's so top heavy I'm gonna go over the back point like that. Can't break off. Ah, yes, right. Okay. So this thing has got enough enough grunt. We're gonna have to pull it in the right direction. And hopefully, it will drag it back onto its wheels. Just gonna turn this around. It's like a massive rescue operation. I didn't have to do this, but... Right, okay, where's this train? It's back up there. Let's put on our winch. So from there to... Probably there. And drive and hope that it comes back over. It's not going out. It's too top heavy. I'm just going to drag it along the road sideways, basically. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, come on. Yay. <laughs> I thought I was going to roll it an entire 360, wait, 180 degrees then. Back onto its roof, but we didn't. We managed to survive. I'm going to leave this, obviously, here, because I've got a fancy we're probably going to need this again. off uh, and jump back into our big trials truck. This is quite a lot of damage for that little fall. I right, so have to be a bit more careful then. Probably a bad idea to put these tires on the roof. Super bouncy. Guess I'm gonna be using the bridge as well. <laughs> See a vehicle over there. Yeah, this is our fourth and final extra mod, if you like. We'll come back to that one. Still want to try and find the old cloak point because I'm guessing that is down here. I'm really 
not a fan of this truck, actually. It's it's ridiculously top heavy. I mean, there's no way wheels can weigh that much, surely. There's our cloaking point. This is what I come down here for. Well, one of the reasons I come down here, anyways. Yeah, so we've got, that's our next model vehicle to take a look at. We've got C255, which I think is just the original, which should be up here. This thing's going to go over again. And when it does, it's going to call an end of the episode because I'm not rescuing it twice in one episode. It is ridiculously top-heavy, I mean, honest to God. I mean, even if this thing was dragging, you know, even if this thing was using a block of flats on its roof, it wouldn't be this top heavy. And it is very annoying because this should make absolutely mincemeat of this level. It really should have been. Very much regretting putting these wheels on that roof. It does look awesome though, look at that. It's a very well designed mod in terms of looks. It looks beautiful. So much attention to detail, covered pretty much everything. It's just the sheer weight of the wheels, it's just it's astronomical, but it's unreal. It kind of be that way, shall we? Okay, so we've uncloaked all of this, and that's quite an area uncovered. If we can get one of these next two cloaking points, that would be awesome. Uh, let's see how we can do. We've got another 10 minutes or so left of this episode, so... Oh, I thought we were going again there. I'm speculating on 10 minutes. Once I go, once this thing rolls again, that's it. It's episode over. <laughs> here wasn't it so I'm going to try and go as high up as possible and keep the truck as level as possible there we go oh. almost away again there right so we're back on the road then let's just follow this road and see what's at the end of here Say which club I'm going to go for. I don't know how far this road goes, that looks like. This road is super naughty. Got a bridge there. Beautiful. Let's just have a look at the map. So we're all the way down here. It looks like we're going to bypass this cloaking point. So I'm just going to keep driving down. This looks like there's a dirt track around here. Uh, and we'll see where that goes. That looks like it might just head straight to that cloaking point. So let's just follow the road and see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. easy. <laughs> this thing is having an absolute awesome time. Look at that. It's... <laughs> Stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Ah, look at the speed of this thing. It seems to 
cover a lot of ground pretty quickly if you give it the opportunity. The right set of stamping ground. Now we'll get out of this water, we'll take another look at the map, see where we're at. We've got to have covered quite a bit of ground there, surely. Let's escape the mud. Where are we at then? Okay, so we're just about to enter the next dark zone, if you like. Yeah, so it's just in case I follow the road, see where it goes. Hopefully, they, this will take us to our next broken point. Or at least we'll be able to see our next broken point. Either right, road's great. I am going to follow this road. Even though it's not the road, it's... Uh, looks inviting, so I'm going to accept the invitation and we're going to drive along it. Let's have a look. Let's see, bridge. There's our next cloaking point. Okay, so that'll leave us with one cloaking point for the next episode. Are you having a laugh? That's gonna be the end of this episode. Yeah, guys. Not enjoying driving this truck at all. I'm really not. It's, uh. I don't know. The physics don't seem right on it. Putting them wheels on the roof has really got onto my skin a little bit. Really annoyed me a little bit. It's, uh. Okay, so we've actually got another truck here. Okay guys, let's go ahead and call an end to this episode. In the next episode we can go and do the A7310. It's not that vehicle, but that's what vehicle it does replace. It is a little beach buggy looking thing. Uh, we'll use that vehicle to uncloak this last point. That will give us a completely open canvas. And we can go ahead and decide which truck we are going to use to do our lumbar to objective. Which our objective we're going to go to for that point because it's like five. five choices if you like so yeah anyways guys until the next one thanks a lot for watching see you in the next one it's a shame it's so top heavy it's a very good looking model